these are the pellets I'm going to be testing today. Got the Bisley Magnums and the Aeron's Field Diablo. We're going to be testing which one retains the energy most between the Bisley and the Aeron's uh, because the Bisley Magnum should carry the energy better over a greater distance. Um, but we are going to be taking into account how much um, drop you get on the pellet with it being a sub 12 foot pound rifle. That's where I'm going to be shooting from. There's a couple of HW hundreds. One kindly on loan from Belper Tackling Gun because uh, I've got my 177 and we've got the 22. So for on this test the rifle on the left hand side is 177 that's the 22. All of the targets I will obviously shoot on the left hand side for the 177 and on the right hand side for the 22. Okay, this is a 177 at 15 yards. We're zeroed in at 30 yards, so we're just going to see what the point of impact is. And that was pretty much smack on. Yeah. Just uh, I'm having a bit of a problem with the wind. We'll see if we can get the uh, feet per second. I'll go and see if that recorded. Right, this is the 2 2, which is um, zeroed in for 30 yards. Oh, it's gone quite a way over. The printer wasn't working, so oh, I can actually see that's five, four, three, five, three, six. Right, this is fifteen yards with the Bisley Magnum. So it's gone bang on target. Let's see if we can get a reading. Six five seven. Right, so now we've got the Bisley Magnum in the two two at fifteen yards. Still a bit over. Velocity four six eight, I think that is okay. Twenty five yards with the one seven seven air arms. Still extremely close to the point of aim. This is the 2 2 air arms at 25 yards. That's gone well over. Let's do a second one. Yeah. And then. Okay, this is uh, 177 Bisley Magnum, 25 yards. Just very slightly under. Okay, 
Okay, this is Bisley Magnum, point of impact at 25 yards. That's getting a lot closer. And the speed on that, I think. Four, five, nine. Okay, this is the air arms. That's thirty yards. Looks like it's just getting affected by the wind a bit. Okay, this is the air arms at 30 yards, which it was zeroed out in 2-2. Two two. The wind taking that a bit. Let's see if we can get... Five oh eight. Okay, this is the Bisley Magnum 177. So it's 30 yards. So that's dropped quite a bit. Let's see if we can get the feet per second. Okay, this is a Bisley Magnum 2-2 at 30 yards, which is what it was uh, zeroed in at with the air arms. And it's dropped across a lot and it's been affected by the wind a lot. Right. Just aim over it. Thirty-five yards. It's dropped a little bit. Yep. Two two about thirty-five yards. It's not too bad on the drop. Okay, onto the Bisley Magnum at 35 yard. Dropped considerably. Right, so if we can get a reading off that. Five seven seven. Right, we've got Bisley Magnum at thirty five yards. It's dropped quite a lot. Yeah, that's a couple of mil dots, ten times a mag. So if I'm going to reading four two six point nine, call that four two seven. This is forty yards of the air arms. 
That looks like it's almost in the dots. Sorry, one mil dot, not two. One mil dot. Let's see if we can get feet per second. Um, here we go with the air arms at 40 yards and 2 2. Okay, this is a Bisley Magnum in 177. I'm going to use the same aim point. And that one's come down one and a half mil dots. Okay, let's see if we can get some idea what speed it's doing. Two two busy magnum. So what to uh, drop this has? Ooh, miles of drop. Right down there. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's set up and get it over there without hitting it. Four oh seven. So this is the air arms at forty five yards in one seven seven. That looks like it's going about one mil dot below. Yeah, you can see the wind's really affecting it now. So that's one mil dot, dot over. The air arms into two at forty five yards. So I've got a couple of the mill knots and the wind's taking it a lot. Yeah, right. Let's see if we can get it over the chronograph without hitting it. Okay, this is 45 yards with a Bisley Magnum. Uh, definitely going to be struggling because the wind is so strong. Jack is two mil volts down. Yeah, two mil volts. Okay, let's see if we can get a reading. Right, so this is going to be the interesting one. Bisley Magnum. This is uh, going to drop a long way. Let's try that one again. 
Okay, 50 yards with the air arms. 177. Sub 12 foot pounds. Right, see if we can hit the 50 yard with the air arms and 2-2. Two, two. Big noise. We're going to have to do some windage. Why? It's well off. This is going to be a problem. Okay, the Brazilian Magnum at 50 yards. Right, I think they've gone down there. So, looking at about three holdover. One across. Three. One. Let's give it another one. Right. Let's see if we can see what that says. 